Welcome to iLecture Online. To give us a bit of a feel of how much the planets Jupiter and Saturn affect the orbit of the Sun, because in the previous video we were talking about binary star systems, and even though Jupiter and Saturn aren't stars, they still kind of act like uh, they, they still act a little bit gravitationally on the orbit of the Sun. It turns out the Sun will actually make little, kind of like little circles around a common barycenter, a common center mass between the planets of Jupiter and Saturn combined. And so to give you a feel of how much an effect that has, we're first going to calculate the center mass between Jupiter and the Sun and the center mass between Saturn and the Sun. And then the next video we will we'll, we'll see how that affects how the sun acts in our solar system. Our sun isn't stable at the very center of the solar system. Our sun is always kind of moving around in, in kind of erratic little circles. And of course, if Jupiter and Saturn had not been planets but full up stars, then those motions would be much greater and then the effect on the Earth's orbit would have been much greater as well. And then probably there would not be any life on the Earth. Well, anyway, we're going to first calculate the center mass, the location, where the common center mass is between the Sun and Jupiter, and then between Jupiter, uh, not Jupiter, but Saturn and the Sun. So Jupiter has a mass which is a little bit less than 1 1,000 the mass of the Sun, and it's at a distance of 460 million miles, which is roughly, if you multiply times 1.6, uh, probably somewhere around 730, 740 million kilometers. And then Saturn has a mass which is 1 over 3,500 times the mass of the Sun, so it's quite a bit less than uh, the mass of Jupiter, but it's almost twice as far away at 938 million miles, and so from that we're going to calculate the center of mass. The way to do that is we take the mass of Jupiter, which is uh, 1 over 1,050, and we multiply it times the distance in miles, that would be 465, times 10 to the 6 miles. And then we divide that by the sum of the mass of Jupiter and the sum of the mass of the Sun. So 1 over 1050 added to 1 times the mass of the Sun. Okay, so what is that equal to? So we add 1 plus, oop, let's do 1 plus 1 divided by 1050. And then uh, we move that to the numerator. Then we multiply that times 465 million e to the sixth, okay? And then we multiply that times 1 over 1050, so divide by 1050, and we get 440, whoa, 442,000 miles. Hmm, okay, so that would be equal to 442,000 miles, because we did this in miles. Now compare that distance to the radius of the Sun, which means that the, the center mass is just about at the edge of the Sun. So the center mass between the Sun and Jupiter is right about the edge of the Sun. So essentially, if Jupiter was the only planet in the solar system, then the Sun would make little circles about that center mass, and of course Jupiter then also would be circling around this point, not the center of the Sun. Now let's do the same for Saturn, and here we have a beautiful picture of Saturn. So the mass of Saturn is less, it's 1 over 3,500. If we multiply it times the distance, that would be 938 million miles, so 938 uh, times 10 to the 6th miles. And we divide that by the sum of the two masses, that would be 1 over 3,500, plus 1 times the mass of the Sun. Okay, so 1 divided by 3,500, add that to 1, Take that to the numerator, times 938 e to the sixth, and divide by 3,500, and we get 268,000 miles, so 268,000 miles. Okay, so where would that put the center mass? Well, that's a little bit over half, so if this is the center of the sun, so the center mass would be about there between Saturn and the Sun. Now notice, if both Jupiter and Saturn are exactly on the same side of the Sun, then the combined center mass of these two planets would put the center mass outside the Sun. 
And then, of course, if Saturn is on one side and Jupiter is on the other side, then the center of mass would be close to the middle. So instead of the Sun going around little circles about one particular center mass, the center mass between the Sun, Jupiter, and Saturn, not including the other planets because they have an effect as well, that center mass always keeps changing. So the Sun does kind of like little erratic circles, changes its orbit all the time around that moving center mass because the planets cause the center mass to be moving around. So the center mass could be as much as over here and it could be as much as over there depending upon where all the planets are located. So it does cause the Sun to have somewhat of an erratic motion. So the distance between the Earth and the Sun is constantly changing because that as well. That causes a change in that as well besides the change in the orbit of the Earth itself. So there's lots of different motions and those can affect the way the climate and the way the temperature acts on any particular planet in the solar system. Now we're talking about relatively speaking very small motions relative to the large distances between the Sun and the planets so it doesn't have a lot of effect. But again if these two were not planets but let's say they were 100 times bigger and they were actually stars then the center mass would be much farther away from the Sun and it would always be moving around and you can see that things would begin to move in very erratic patterns over large distances and it would have an effect on the life on planets that would be in that campus, that type of solar system. And that's why we study that. So all these uh, catastrophe predictions, so what's going to happen on Earth if all the planets line up? <laughs> <laughs> so, the catastrophic effects when the planets line up, as you can tell, not a lot of effect. Small effects, but it has virtually no impact on the planets themselves. Well, not to the sun, but to, to the Earth. You know, the tidals and... No tidal waves, no earthquakes, no catastrophic events whatsoever. Just small old tugs that we don't barely even notice. Yes, those movies, well, you know, you science fiction movies, they just kind of bend the truth just a little bit, just to make it more exciting. A bit. Just a little bit. <laughs>